Hey people, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a table of contents from scratch and I'm also going to show you how to create a table of contents in Canva using their pre-designed layouts and templates. Stay tuned to see how easy that is. This video is sponsored by my Books from Scratch course. It's an online course that shows you how to create ebooks or physical books from scratch even if you don't have any ideas even if you don't have any money how to organize it how to write it how to market it how to promote it check that out it's in the description you should check it out and uh, also to get started with an ebook there's another video i created if you hadn't watched it it'll be up here so make sure you check out that link there are also timestamps in the description if you want to jump around in any one of my videos uh this one included so if you don't want to hear me ramble on so make sure you click those timestamps if you just want to get a certain portion of this uh, tutorial. Now I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to put a timer on so you can see literally how fast you can get this table of contents done for your ebook. Then I'm going to get a little bit more detailed and give you a few more options on things you can do to customize your table of contents and other options that you may have uh, within Canva to get this done quick and easy. Last thing before we jump into this tutorial, we've reached a thousand subscribers. Thank you. Thank all of you watching uh, who have subscribed. And it still shows that a lot of people who are watching these videos are not subscribed. So please hit that subscribe bell. Let's jump right in. I'm going to share my screen with you. You go ahead over, type in canva.com. That's going to bring you to this page. You can either go here and type in ebook. Uh, ebook cover comes up and all of that. So you can just type ebook cover. And as you see, you can just choose from all of these here. And they usually have, like when you hover over it, it, in this top right corner it usually have if it has multiple layouts it usually has that right up here or you can just search here and you just click over till you find ebook or book cover when I type in book here book cover comes up photo book graphic design book cover vintage book cover novel book cover children's book cover and you can you choose blank to make your own these are all the templates that they have let's go back up here and see what this graphic design looks like so these are other different types of covers and I'm just gonna pick one of these as an example so I can show you how quick it is the biggest thing is having I guess uh, a lot of choices also this is where you can sort of kind of look and see also which other ones may have more than one and, and all of these again you are fully customizable these are just templates that are already there for you to use if you like something that you see just click on it and it immediately changes and you can change all the words you can change the pictures over here by selecting uh, photos you can type in a search for a photo or whatever or you can put, put one of your own photos And again, all of this is customizable. I'm just gonna mirror this page, all right? Because I wanna keep the same type of uh, configure, you know, color scheme and stuff like that. So I'll delete that. And this is all grouped, but you can ungroup it just by clicking it and pressing ungroup. And then you can separately move it that way. See, so I'll say, table table of contents and again if you want to make this bigger or smaller with the letters words this is the size here this is the fonts here you can select from over here but I'm not going to deal with any of that because for the for lack of time and I'm going to show you also how to link how to link for instance one of these to something else I just change this chapter one he dollies chapter two and so on and if you wanted to put a page on there you could do that I just put a bunch of periods one put a bunch of periods that's if you want to if you want to do that it's very easy so right there it's already looking like a table of, of contents you can change the colors you could change the styles you could change the font yeah just like that um i got a table of contents now let's just say i, I wanted to put some type of webinar take the webinar that goes along 
with this ebook here. Or I'll just say click here. And so you click this, you go up here to link it to something, and you'll go to this link button. For instance, let's just say I wanted this to go to my my YouTube channel where I have a bunch of tutorials. So I put apply and just again for the sake of this training, right? I'll just press download this one page. This is page two. So this would be my cover. This would be the table of contents. And you see they match and all of that. But all of this is customizable. Again, you can go to templates over here and select all these different ones. You can go through them and see what all your options are. Uh, I'm just doing a quick one. I'm going to download this. Just page two, not the cover. It'll say this, preparing your des design. I'll look at it here. Now when I open it, let's just make this a little bit smaller. You see the table of contents is done, but if I click here, it goes straight to my YouTube channel. And that's very, very simple on how you can add a link to anything in an ebook. Now let's say you wanted to create a table of contents from scratch. What you do, again, it, it, you go to canva.com, you can type in book or ebook with cover. It doesn't really matter. You just choose blank and Canva will give you a blank canvas like this. And once you get the blank canvas, again, your templates are over here uh, if you so choose. And you can type something else in here, but we're gonna start from scratch. Now again, the templates are really easy. You can just drag and drop those. But if you want it, I mean, this is if you're trying to keep it simple. Drag it up here. You can change the font. Doesn't really matter what you use. It's up. To, it's your personal preference what you use. Again, same thing. I can't spell today. Chapter one. Chapter two. Keep doing this. Chapter three. If you wanted to, let's just say if you wanted to have bonus content, right? Just like I showed you again, how to add those links. You can add the links to anything. So let's just duplicate this real quick. Slide that down. To take the free training that accompanies this ebook, click here. I'll make this just a little bit bigger so you guys can see it better. You go up here, you click link, and you enter the link that you want to put in here. And then you press apply. Then you press download. Once you download it, then you go to the file and just make sure that you're able that when you click there, it goes to wherever that you want to go. So that was a short video. It was kind of short and to the point. Um, it's not really that much involved in it, but again, if you really want to be creative, I would go over to the left hand side using the templates here find a really nice one and then make your table of contents and the things in the book match that depending on what type of ebook you're trying to do like if you do fashion you is gonna want you're gonna want it to be colorful and stuff like that but it could just be plain text like you see like you see here on the screen so that was a quick training now if you don't have any ideas on but you want to write a book and you need to get some ideas or if you need to learn how to market and promote it create it from scratch get your ideas organized or and then how to put it together um, i have a tutorial explaining that the tutorial for that will be up above the link is there or down in the description uh, we reached a thousand subscribers i'm very very happy about that but we got to do good better on the watch time that means i have to create better content for you so you'll watch the video until the end but please hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed uh i try to come out with videos every monday i just had a bait my first baby girl uh, her name is mariah that's why i haven't uh published any videos in a while so i hope that you guys are forgiving i just want my videos why you ain't post a video on monday that's how that's how i'll be when i be looking at my favorite uh <laughs> youtubers so thank y'all for y'all support i appreciate it thanks for being a subscriber and again check out that course it's called books from scratch the link is in the description um and right now when you enroll in books from scratch i'm actually giving two free courses 
from my online business, Startup University. The links for all of that stuff will be down below. Make sure you check it out. If you want to know a little bit more about me on a personal, on a more personal level, I do vlog. Um, if you're interested in that, I have some vlogs here on this channel or you can go to bit.ly forward slash Rivers World. I would appreciate the support there as well. Plus there's some funny stuff there um, outside of tutorials and being serious and all of that. So peace, blessings, and prosperity. See you guys in the next video. Take care.